Our epic journey begins on the sun-drenched plains of Mozambique, situated in the heart of southern Africa. Here, amidst the chaos of life, enters our hero, Yasuke. A bracing tempest of courage and persistence, Yasuke is born into the harsh realities of life, where every day is a struggle for survival. Like the grains of sand shaped and polished by the relentless waves, Yasuke treads a path rife with challenges, honing his spirit into an unbreakable resilience. His journey into warriorhood is a narrative plunged into the depths of mystery, a tale lost in the annals of time, leaving only whispers of a life ordained by an extraordinary path. Left in the throes of obscurity is his youth, a puzzle that leaves many pieces unsolved. However, what we do know is that destiny had great plans for him. From the cradle of Africa to distant lands unheard of by him, his life charts a trajectory unique and inspiring. This unfathomable story sets sail on a vast ocean of unknown territories, unfolding intricately between pages of history and folklore. But before we embark on this extraordinary voyage, we delve into Yasuke's early years, bearing witness to an enduring strength that propelled his eventual transition. From his humble beginnings nestled within the struggles of his homeland, to a mysterious and fascinating journey that slips him onto alien shores, forever altering the course of his life. Bone-scouring labor of a Habshi slave in bustling India, Yasuke is sculpted by the brutal hand of circumstance into a figure of unmissable strength and commanding demeanor. His impressive frame and robust spirit don a tale of survival amid adversity and resilience against the iron fists of his oppressors. Yasuke's resolute spirit refuses to bow to his formidable hardships, his unwavering resolve fashioning him into an epitome of human tenacity. A life immersed in trials has honed this African titan into a symbol of perseverance and undying strength. And it is this striking magnetism, the undying flame of will in Yasuke, that lures the discerning eyes of the Jesuits religious missionaries of meticulous exploration. Roaming the diverse faces of the world in search of faith, they are immediately captivated by this muscular warrior. Emerging from the backdrop of servitude, Yasuke engages in an unlikely camaraderie with the Jesuits. His spirit ignites a spark of intrigue and admiration among these explorers, forging a unique bond punctuated by mutual respect and curiosity. Simultaneously, an intimate friendship and an unconventional alliance, their relationship sets the stage for Yasuke's grand voyage into wider horizons. As they see beyond his bondage, the Jesuits identify Yasuke not merely as another slave, but as an inspirational figure, a testament to human resilience. This fateful connection creates an extraordinary shift in the course of Yasuke's life setting him on a new path toward a drastic transformation that shatters all the boundaries of his existence. The year 1579 sparks unprecedented transformations in Yasuke's life, forever shifting the gears of his existence. He crosses the threshold of his familiar world, stepping onto an alien horizon. An epoch unravels as he sets sail alongside the Vatican emissary, Alessandro Valignano. They voyage towards the grandeur of the land of the rising sun, Japan. The cobblestone streets of Kyoto, the ancient city incandescent in its majesty, pulsate vibrantly with astonishment and curiosity. Yasuke's towering height, his skin as dark as the African night, his shaved head, every detail of his foreign physique, becomes a spectacle. His minimalistic presence creates an aura that is all at once alien, intriguing, and magnetic to the eyes of the locals. The memory of the African stranger etches indelibly onto the city's heart, forever to be retold in whispers and ballads. Kyoto stands entranced, no longer just a silent witness, but a new home, waiting to embrace Yasuke and his extraordinary saga. As the foreign vessel docks the rugged shores, Yasuke disembarks, his life set on a dramatic stage. 
the unfamiliar ground under his feet, leads him to the bustling streets of Kyoto, a world as foreign as it might seem to a stranger from another continent. His warrior's heart doesn't falter, as his gaze sweeps across the sea of curious onlookers who've gathered to witness this unique spectacle. Yasuke's towering physique towers over the horizon, his ebony skin a stark contrast to the pale faces of the locals all around, his warrior's mien evident in his commanding posture. But the locals aren't the only eyes on him. Among the observers stands Oda Nobunaga, one of Kyoto's most powerful warlords. The stern eyes bores into him, studying him intently from head to toe. His eyes widen in wonder at Yasuke's formidable presence, the sheer physicality of the African samurai bared in front of him. And Nobunaga can't help but feel captivated, hypnotized by an entity as alien as it is intriguing. Nobunaga, used to recognizing strength and potential in people, sees beyond Yasuke's foreign appearance. In his mind, Yasuke is more than a stranger. He is an oni, a creature of mystic power, embodying both uncanny and superhuman characteristics. He sees potential, deep down, a potential he is eager to harness, to transform this stranger warrior to a powerhouse among familiar friends. Upon landing in Japan, Yasuke's otherworldly essence carved a stark silhouette against normalcy. His alien skin tone, which was initially thought to not be skin at all, instead the color of his protective armor, was a curious detail that piqued the inquisitive warlord, Oda Nobunaga's interest. The assumptions about his dark skin being an oni trait faded slowly as Nobunaga managed to break free from the chains of his ignorance. Slowly and seamlessly, Yasuki's persistent efforts and the sincere integrity he showcased in his actions began to paint an image that was as real and human as any other samurai's. Nobunaga began perceiving Yasuke not just as a foreign curiosity, but as a living, breathing representation of nobility and honor. Dismantling cultural barriers and overlooking harsh prejudices, Nobunaga let Yasuke into his inner circle, a prestigious court reserved only for those deemed worthy of respect and valor. Yasuke, in turn, paid this honor with unflinching loyalty and dedication. His resilience and valor further enhanced Nobunaga's growing admiration for him. Their bond fortified, originating from a place of shared respect and admiration, transcending cultural differences to manifest as a profound camaraderie seldom seen before. Drenched in dedication and unwavering loyalty, Yasuke's commitment impressed not only Nobunaga, but the entire court. Time and time again, with every display of strength, wisdom, and commitment, Yasuke cast an everlasting imprint on the halls of Japanese courtship as a paragon of nobility. His story turned folklore-inspired future generations to believe in the power of perseverance and to stay true to oneself, irrespective of any prejudices or challenges met on their path. Yasuke's journey transforms into something far greater than merely being a guardian. He emerges from the shadows to stand as a beacon of valor and strength, his loyalties unwavering and deeply rooted in the unforgiving soils of conflict-ridden landscapes. As he plunges into the heart of countless battles, a warrior is born, his larger-than-life presence creating an undying imprint on the tapestry of Japan's riveting saga. Each stroke of his sword symbolizes not just his relentless courage, but also his sublime dedication to Nobunaga. Faced with this undying spirit, Nobunaga awards Yasuke the highest honor in the samurai code, his very own samurai sword. This exchange is not just a testament to Yasuke's triumphant evolution from a warrior to samurai but also a symbol of Nobunaga's trust in his abilities, not just as a warrior, but as a friend, advisor, and confidant. With this prized possession in hand, Yasuke forges his path, 
marking his territory not just into Japan's historical narrative, but also into the heart of this breathtaking world that was once alien to his heart. As the sun began to peek over the horizon, painting the morning sky in hues of crimson and gold, the air was charged with tension. Yasuke, towering over others, stood at the forefront of the battle line, his gaze steely, his posture unyielding. The once enslaved African now stood as a commander, leading his men into the Battle of Tenmokuzan in 1581. His voice thundered over the chaotic battlefield, instilling courage and resolution within his men. As he spurred his horse into a gallop, leading a cavalry charge headfirst into the heart of the enemy's defences. His every move bore the mark of strategic brilliance. The earth rumbled beneath the sheer force of their charge, eliciting fear in the hearts of their adversaries. The battlefield echoed with the din of clashing steel and shouted war cries, a deadly dance played out on the blood-soaked terrain. Despite the overwhelming odds, Yasuke's leadership and direct action gave their battle-weary troops hope. His relentless display of bravery and valor served as a beacon that guided them through the harrowing conflict. In this decisive moment, they held the line and began to turn the tide of battle in their favor. With this awe-inspiring display, Yasuke not only proved his mettle, but also gained further respect within Nobunaga's ranks. He was no longer a novelty or an oddity, but a confirmed member of his inner circle a warrior who had proven that he could lead and win. This African-born samurai had harnessed determination and resilience to defy odds and emerge victorious, etching himself ever deeper in the annals of Japanese history. The Battle of Honoji, a pivotal point in both Yasuke and Nobunaga's intertwined narratives, began in earnest. The year was 1582, in the scorched heart of summer. Amidst the merciless flames and deafening clash of steel upon steel, Yasuke stood tall, a solitary figure of bravery amidst the chaos. His skin, dark as the night sky, glistened with the sweat of exertion and the blood of enemies. His eyes, gleaming with a fierce determination, appeared as twin stars in the engulfing darkness. His sword, now an extension of his own baying, moved with deadly precision through the smoke-cloaked battlefield. With each swing, he cleaved his path towards Nobunaga, a Goliath amid the Philistines. But the forces of Akechi Mitsuhid were closing in, too numerous, too relentless. Yet despite the overwhelming odds, Yasuke fought on, his spirit as unyielding as his skill was formidable. His stance never faltered, his gaze never wavered from his goal. Nobunaga's protection. He was an unyielding beacon of defiance in a seething storm of treachery and violence. As the flames devoured their surroundings, casting monstrous shadows on the battlefield, Yasuke's battle-ravaged figure was an emblem of unyielding bravery. He fought till he could no more, till the unmistakable pang of Nobunaga's ultimate fate struck him. But in this moment of despair, Yasuke's bravery and commitment towered above it all, like a lighthouse standing resolute amidst a raging sea. In the dim-lit twilight of the Battle of Honoji, Yasuke was a mere spectator to an unfathomable tradition. His estranged comrade, Nobunaga, had chosen the path of seppuku, an act of ritual suicide so deeply entrenched in Japanese tradition that it rendered Yasuke an outsider, speechless. Yet in the cold steel and fiery chaos, Yasuke's humanity was questioned while surviving soldiers surrendered to their honor-bound fate. Yasuke's African roots and alien identity, originally sources of intrigue and fascination, became the grounds for his survival in this gruesome theater of war. Amidst the scattered samurai and ruinous pyres of the once great castle, fate whispered in the ear of our foreign warrior, encouraging his survival. His status, now a fragmentary silhouette amongst the stoic Japanese warriors, was solace. As he stepped across the rubble, he looked on to a beleaguered horizon, 
a once familiar landscape, now irrevocably scarred by betrayal and bloodshed. As a new dawn broke, the sorrowful aftermath of the Battle of Hanoji began to unfold in all its dreadful splendor. Still in the grip of the shocking loss of his comrade Nobunaga, Yasuke found himself witness to another heartbreaking ritual. Nobunaga's brother, gripped by grief and bound by honor, chose the path of seppuku, ritual suicide. His somber, resolute face mirrored the glint of the short blade, and Yasuke looked on from afar, his spirit heavy with the weight of loss. Yet, his outsider status, once a spectacle, now served as his reprieve from this sorrowful ceremony. Yasuke could do naught but watch, alien to these customs, yet deeply moved by the intimacy of honor and despair entwined so intricately in this ancient ritual. The paradox of his existence seemed heightened in this moment, a foreign soul immersed in the ceremonial practices of a distant culture, yet exempted due to the question of his humanity. As the sun set on Nobunaga's reign, the silhouette of Yasuke steadily began to recede into the cloak of history. He disappeared, his next steps veiled in a fog of uncertainty and conjecture. Murmurs weaved through the streets of Kyoto and beyond, suggesting varying scenarios. A group speculated that Yasuke's gallant heart met its end on an all-but-forgotten battlefield, lambent flames extinguishing amidst the clash of steel. Still others whispered tales of the former samurai, stealing his gaze toward the sprawling expanse of a homeland he'd once known, retracing steps clad in chains back to Africa. Yet those familiar with his stories knew better than to weave his narrative into a tragic tapestry of defeat. Rather, whatever his destiny, Yasuke the unvanquished warrior merely shifted his battlefield from the physical to the pages of history. He might have vanished in person, but his essence remained as immovable as a mountain. His courage, his strength, his fiery spirit whispered of an extraordinary journey, told and retold, passing from generation to generation like a cherished heirloom. This marked a new chapter, that of his post-mortem emergence from a man of flesh and blood into an immortal embodiment of inspiration and respect. Yasuke might have left the land of samurais, but he'd never truly say sayonara to their hearts. In the fading echoes of an era gone by, Yasuke's story resurfaces anew with each retelling. What seems to be slumbering somewhere within the folds of history is a possibility as intriguing as the man himself, the potentiality that Yasuke might have been a prince from Mozambique a dignitary on a diplomatic mission. Though this narrative holds the allure of a fairy tale, spinning a captivating yarn of royalty and adventure, it remains just that, a tale. Believers are few, and skeptics many, in the face of scant historical evidence to substantiate this claim. Yet, as each layer unfolds, the unseen contours of Yasuke's life become more visible, the prince narrative, true or not, only enriches the mystery, embellishing the enigma that is Yasuke. His beginnings might lay shrouded in uncertainty, his lineage undetermined, his path prior to servitude unknown. But what grips us tighter every time is the undeniable strength and resilience etched into his legend. Yasuke, prince or slave, African or samurai, leaves an unquestionable legacy of courage and honor. His story, replete with trials and triumphs, resonates across the centuries, reminding us of the extraordinary capabilities of an ordinary man caught in the tumultuous tide of history. Yasuke, the African Samurai, the breath of an era faded into the recesses of time leaves behind a trail shrouded in layers of enigma. The face that once swept across the length and breadth of Kyoto as a symbol of deracialized power, a lover of justice, 
an ally to the mighty and the benevolent, remains a puzzle unsolved. Was it the call of the motherland that led Yasuke to sail back to the fiery warmth of his roots? Could he have retraced his steps to the serene vistas, imbibing the whispers of the savannah into his soul, sinking into the cradle of Africa from whence he was brutally uprooted? Perhaps his fate was sealed on a bloody battlefield, where his final moments spent wielding the samurai sword, facing a sea of enemies with an unshakable resolve, sealing his honor in the face of death. Did Yasuke meet his end like a true samurai? his last breath mingled with the metallic taste of blood and victory. Or were the remaining sunsets of his life spent in Japan, where his identity was birthed anew? Yasuki's tale is a fantastical weave of history and mystery that continues to inspire awe and admiration. His spirit, though shrouded in mystery, continues to be a guiding light, a testament to the infinite potential of human endurance and adaptability. Contemporary Japan, a country deeply rooted in tradition while ceaselessly chasing the future, finds itself intricately weaving Yasuke's tale within its modern popular culture. Bits and fragments of this African samurai's saga pervade the worlds of video games, comic books and other media, repolishing and reintroducing him to new generations. Walk through the neon-drenched streets of Akihabara, the electric town, as it's known, an iconic Tokyo district bustling with tech shops and comic stores. There, among the labyrinth of animated characters fighting for visual dominance, you can spot the imposing figure of Yasuke. In the virtual universe, too, Yasuke reigns supreme. Game designers have reincarnated him as a warrior character in various famous video games his Bantu height raised to mythic proportions, his ebony skin a symbol of formidable strength and impeccable character. In this bustling district, known for being the country's manga mecca, Yasuke occupies a special place in fans' hearts. His tale of persistence and courage, visually narrated through the crisp pages of graphic novels, serves as an inspiration to readers of all ages. His legacy is not just confined to commercial avenues or recreational platforms. In classrooms across Japan, history sessions aren't complete without Yasuke's mention. His intriguing life story, an integral part of the nation's rich historical discourse. From servitude in Africa to a warrior in Japan, Yasuke's transformation underscores the country's extensive cultural mosaic. Across Japan, the tale of Yasuke is immortalized in stone and ink, in bites and pixels. He is remembered not merely as Nobunaga's foreign bodyguard, but as a trailblazer who left an indelible mark in the annals of Japanese history. While the mysteries of his eventual fate continue to hang in the air, Yasuke's legacy is timeless. Today he stands not just as Japan's first African samurai, but also as a symbol of enduring resilience strength, and unfathomable courage. The image he put forth, while alien and unorthodox to the period, was extolled in its strength, quelling the tumultuous storms of prejudice and xenophobia with an unequivocal grace. His life bears testament to Japan's diverse past, one teeming with stories of warriors from far-flung lands imbuing rich hues into the canvas of Japan's Sengoku era. In the archives of historical chronicles, few stories blaze as brilliantly as the tale of Yasuke, the Black Helper. A moniker perfectly befitting the man who traversed a jagged journey from the guts and gore of war to the spiritual serenity of music, from the bondage of slavery to the honor of a samurai. Yasuke's tale underscores human values of acceptance, resilience, and collective respect for alien cultures. Yasuke rose above and beyond the confines of his identity as a former slave, reaching for the stars and illustrating that our past does not dictate our future, a message as relevant today as it was four centuries ago. And so we finally draw curtains on Yasuke's journey, departing from his extraordinary life 
with a renewed sense of wonder and reverence for the remarkable tale of courage and determination etched into our collective historical consciousness. His story is an ode to the undeniable power of resilience, determination, and valor. It promises to remain alive, pulsating through centuries, and serving as a beacon of inspiration for generations yet unborn. If you enjoyed this video and gained any value from it, please like this video, as it really helps spread awareness of this great story. It really helps the channel as well. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more great stories of amazing people and majestic lands. Thanks for watching.